女士们、先生们、小朋友们，大家过年好。初一，在这里，请允许我代表新纽约中华联谊会，向在座的各位恭祝大家新春愉快，鸡年吉祥，身体健康，万事如意。今年，我们有幸再度与布法罗大学、孔子学院联手合作。为您呈现这一台精彩纷呈的演出，让我们为所有的演员们、老师们和家长们鼓掌，感谢他们为这次演出的圆满成功所做出的奉献。同时，我也想借此机会，在这里，像在过去的两年中，所有的赞助商给联谊会的支持。我们所有志愿者的无私的奉献，还有我们会员们的大力支持，由于你们的参与，我们这个在新纽约最有影响力的华人社团变得更加壮大，活动变得更丰富多彩。会员们通过这个平台互帮互助，分享资源和信息，让我们感受到了家庭的温暖。在此，我感到非常的欣慰和自豪。今天是我们新老领导班子交替的日子，在这里，我向您保证，我们的领导班会继续支持联谊会的工作，继续关注联谊会的成长和发展。我也坚信，我们的联谊会在新会长刘振博士的带领下。在新的一年会更上一层楼，谢谢大家。Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends of all ages, for the past two years, it has been my privilege and honor to serve as the president of Chinese Club of Western New York. I've been so touched by all the well wishes. I've received over the past few weeks, and today is my turn to say thank you. It's all of you have kept me inspired, kept me going. Every day, I learned so much from all of you. You made me a better president and a better leader. Two years ago, I was standing right here. And I pledge to you that I would work closely with our advisory board and our officers, volunteers, to create a positive, loving, and fun community for our club members and bring more Chinese cultural awareness to the greater Buffalo area. Today, I would like to tell you I cannot be more pleased with our accomplishments. Although I certainly cannot take fully credit for that, the credit belongs to the hardworking, passionate, innovative officers and volunteers, our supportive advisory board, our community collaborators like Confucius Institute at the University of Buffalo, and our club sponsors, and of course you, our club members. We moved our club to the next level, and we cannot achieve that without your help and support. Today, as I move from president to past president, I assure you, it is not a farewell. I will serve on the advisory board and hope to continue giving to this great organization. And I encourage all of you. To remember your lifelong commitment and continue to support the club, and I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to lead this great organization in the past two years, and I wish you all a happy, healthy, prosperous New Year, and look forward to many wonderful things happening to this organization. 
in the upcoming years and many more years to come. Thank you. Now, it's my honor to introduce you, Dr. Jen Liu, the newly elected president of Chinese Club of Western New York. On behalf of the club, I would like to thank him for willing to take this leadership role. And I believe he and his team will bring our club to the next new level. Let's wish him all the best and give our support to him. Without further ado, please put your hands together. Let's welcome Dr. Jun Liu, the president of Chinese Club of Western New York for the year 2017 to 2019. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. You are wonderful. Greetings, my name is Chen Liu. Uh, Happy New Year and may the rooster brings you luck and fortune. Uh, many people don't know me, but I have been uh, living in Buffalo for eight years. I've been teaching at UB also for eight years. Now I'm not teaching anymore, but I'm living in, uh, in Buffalo and I love this community. As a teacher and a researcher of social science, one thing that really amazed me the most about human achievement is, guess what? The evolution of cooperation. Uh, if we pay attention, we can observe that humankind, through various amazing culture, supported many kinds of cooperation. For example, the Spring Festival, the New Year, it's a form that represents the common value of all the Chinese community around the globe. This represents about 23% of whole population on Earth. Uh -huh. And what's behind those festivals? What's behind those traditions? When you think about, for example, St. Patrick's Day for the Irish community, Columbus Day for the Italian community, I would say, inside those amazing forms, there's only one core, which is to build the trust for the community.总人口百分之二十三的华人的社区的合作在各种形式的节日背后比如说爱尔兰社区的圣佩特斯节意大利社区的哥伦布斯节在这些形式背后我们看到的是我们看到的是其中的核心就是建立起人与人之间的信任
，十六年，我经历过城市、农村、郊区，还有很多的社区，我看到了许多独特的文化因素，比如当我们看到印度社区，当我们看到犹太社区，他们采用各种各样的文化因素去打造人与人之间的信任。When we look at many other communities across the United States, we can see many creative cultural factors that encourage the build of trust and ultimately create opportunity to cooperate. For example, we can see many different 虽然小，但是质量非常高的民间组织，我们可以看到这些组织拥有透明和稳健的制度。这些组织拥有兼具广度和深度的交流方式，他们还有各自独到的设施和硬件。So for example, we observed many small and high quality civic organizations. We observe they use transparent and robust institutions to facilitate cooperation. We saw that they are using communications that are both broad and deep. They have the facilities that fit them best to, cooperate, uh, to build cooperation and trust. In this, 让我们抱着开放的学习的心态，向在美国的其他的许多的社区学习。我们的目的很简单：第一个，让我们社区的参与者得到更多的回报；第二个，让更多的人看到参与的价值。So with an open mind, I encourage everybody to learn from other communities and continue to improve our community. We wanted to encourage the participation so that when the participants can get more reward from the community and other people will find the value of participation. 最后，请让我引用著名学者周有光先生曾经说过的一句话。他说：“复兴华夏文化不是文化复古，而是文化复兴。”不是以传统文化代替现代文化，而是以传统文化辅助现代文化。The distinguished scholar Professor Yu Guangzhou once said, "The renaissance of Chinese culture is not a restoration, but an upgrading, not to replace the living culture with the traditional one, but to assist it with the traditional one." 谢谢大家的支持。最后，请让我介绍我们的朋友，孔子学院的董事主席 Professor Stephen Dunnett and Vice Provost for International Education and Co-Chair of the Confucius Institute. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, everyone. Bong Shi Fa Chai, Xin Yan Hua Le, Lu. On behalf of the University of Buffalo, I'm delighted to welcome you to our campus, and we hope that you're going to have a wonderful afternoon here today. The University of Buffalo is very pleased to co-sponsor today's gala together with the Chinese Club of Western New York, and I'd like to take a moment now to thank again. Emily Shen for all that she has done as president of the association. So please join me in thanking Emily again. We also welcome Dr. Liu Zhen, the new president, and we look forward to working with him in the years ahead. I'd also like to thank all the sponsors of today's gala, and we very much appreciate your generous support. I am responsible as the chair of the board of advisors of the UB Confucius Institute, 
and I'd just like to tell you a little bit about the work of the Institute. The University of Buffalo Confucius Institute supports education and research about China at UB and throughout Western New York. The Institute organizes programs in three main areas, placing language teachers from China in local K-12 schools, organizing community cultural programs and exchanges, sponsoring China-focused teaching, research, and artistic productions at UB. The Confucius Institute is an academic unit of the College of Arts and Sciences at UB and receives its funding from the, C the Confucius Institute headquarters in Beijing and the University at Buffalo. Each year, the Confucius Institute presents awards for excellence in Chinese language learning to students in local schools who have shown exceptional ability in learning Chinese and enthusiasm for Chinese culture. The students are nominated by Confucius Institute teachers from China who are placed in the school districts and the private schools across Erie and Niagara counties and by full-time Chinese teachers hired by local schools. At a ceremony earlier today in the Confucius Institute, this year's winners were presented with their certificate of accomplishment and a Barnes & Noble gift card of $150. We have brought these talented students here today, and I ask you to give them a warm welcome as they come on the stage to introduce themselves and to wish everyone a happy Chinese New Year. Dadia 我叫老布拉卡达,我来自南加拿大Junior Saint Joseph's College Institute Thank you for your attention. Just one more moment and we'll start the show. Have a good time.